Dennis with Dennis Biggestaff coming up onto the front row of the grid for the A final. And um, would you believe that this very talented man from County Down has indeed achieved the fastest time of the day here in Scotland this afternoon, 2.24.4 to Dennis Biggestaff, his first ever fastest time of the day outside of his native Ireland. Can he capitalise upon that and get a good result here in the A final? Uh, his seed go away. Is he in the lead? No, he is not. It is John Welch who's come clear. John Welch leads it. Dennis Biggestaff challenging for second place with Mark Flaherty as we see the battle going on between those two and a bit of door handing there as we look from the rear view camera on the John Welch car and uh, they are coming away. Mark Flaherty dropping back there and Stephen Palmer is now into third place. Stephen Palmer into third. John Welch leads it. Mark Flaherty second. Stephen Palmer in third. Stephen using the smaller engine car to very good effect. Mark Flaherty fourth. Then comes Barry Squibb in fifth. Dave Phillipson in the Porsche there. That might well be the car with which Rob Gibson was a winner here back in 1983, believe it or not. Meantime, up front, it's John Welch in the lead. John Welch leading it. John coming away, going a bit wide there, allowing uh, Dennis Biggestaff to hang on to that second place, but coming under a lot of pressure now from Stephen Palmer as they come up towards the completion of lap number one. John Welch away in the lead. Oh, and Dennis Biggestaff hitting the tyres there and causing troubles. Dennis Biggestaff spinning off on the inside, getting quickly out of the way. Very, very quickly out of the way, Alan, but I think he's uh, damaged the car. Yeah. The, uh, the steering there, I think, has uh, come well adrift, unfortunately. Poor Dennis having an FTD today to uh, come to an end in the A-final. Yeah, he looked as though he was destined for the Super Final and maybe a chance of victory outside Ireland, but uh, it's not to be. And so now John in a comfortable lead, and John it is with a clear screen in every sense, comes down into the club hairpin once again. And Steve Palmer try as he may. I think he's going to have to settle for a second place here. Four laps, these finals, and uh, fairly tiring drive I would think driving at 10 tenths and a checkered flag there for John Welch remember racing against the clock to try and uh, get a quick time to get his best position that he possibly can in the super final 